What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on the morning of March 24th, 2019. Because I am recording this early in the day, I do realize that some other news may come out later on today. And if that is the case, then I just will share that in the next Funko News video. Now, a couple of figures that I have not pointed out as being available, um, they do include the Freddie Mercury, which is exclusive to FYE. So this does have that diamond glitter paint job going on. Um, I definitely want to say as well, if you have never watched Queen's live performance at Live Aid, definitely check that out. It is very cool. I know it was uh, reenacted within the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, but no, you got to see the real deal. And I will link it down below because it is available to check out on YouTube. Also, the Patina Stan Lee, this one had already been hitting stores, but it should be much easier to find now, more widely available, and you may be able to find this online as well. It is not an exclusive, so it should be pretty easy to track down at this point. And then the latest Game of Thrones mystery minis, they've actually been available for a week or two at this point, but I definitely want to make sure that I point them out, and I do want to remind you all, of course, that there are some exclusives in the mix, including some Hot Topic exclusives. And then Funko still has not yet done the official reveal for the Avengers Endgame Pops, but they are starting to reach some stores already, especially GameStop. So um, you may come across those out in a while. I'm waiting for the official images from Funko before I actually share. I know that there are some images on social media. People have been taking some pictures of them. And as a matter of fact, I am going to discuss some of the exclusives for Avengers Endgame at the end of this video in the spoiler section. That's if you want to check that out. But like I said, as far as the comments and you know the official reviews, I'm really waiting on those images to share with you all. Moving along here, the latest item on the Funko Shop was the Game of Thrones Dire Wolves 3-pack, which actually did sell out. And I'm saying that in a surprising way just because, um, you know, Dwarves have not been as popular lately. And I'm actually going to do a video about that in a couple of days. I do want to talk about the situation with Dwarves. But Game of Thrones is hugely popular, you know, it's coming up on the last season. So I think that's why this was pretty popular and it sold out, you know, and um, I don't think it sold out like immediately, but it did sell out eventually um, so if you're interested in this now you would have to go second market with it there are definitely some people trying to overcharge for this unfortunately we know how that is but yeah this Funko Shop exclusive Dire Wolves 3 pack of dwarves like I said has sold out at this point on the site but it does seem like there are more games of Game of Thrones dwarves on the way you see them pictured there to the right you know so these are possible Moving right along here, um, the Metallic Night King, I shared that with you all in the last uh, Funko News video. I did want to point out though, and let me remind you first of all, that this is an AT&T exclusive here in the United States. And um, it may possibly release early April, maybe April 8th. That's not 100% guaranteed. Um, like I said last time, if I learn more about the release of the Night King here in the U.S., then I will share that information with you all. But I did want to point out that it is going to be available internationally as well. So, you know, you, um, you know, wherever you tend to find country, I mean, ex excuse me, exclusives within your country, you know, you may want to check with those retailers and see what is going on with the Night King, um, the Metallic Night King. Again, if I learn more about it, I definitely will share that with you all. And then it seems like there could be another Metallic Night King on the way. This is him sitting on the throne, the Iron Throne. And that one um, is possibly an HBO exclusive that could release very soon. Again, if I learn more about the release, I definitely will update you all. And then Spooky Empire is getting another exclusive. Previously, they had the Elvira exclusive, which had a very rough release. But um, yeah, they're getting another exclusive of Petey. I think the last name is Mongelli, or Mongelli, excuse me. Uh, but Petey is actually the founder of Spooky Empire. So that is why he's getting his own featured pop figure there. Um, again, that's coming soon. Um, and I would assume, of course, it's with the actual Spooky Empire event that it would be released. Moving right along here, some more random bits of information. The Toy Story 4 Pops, um, they will be officially revealed soon. Again, just like I said with Avengers Endgame, I'm really wait, waiting for some, um, you know, official images from Funko. And then I will try to share those with you all, you know, to show you all the comments and all the exclusives. There are images floating around of some of the other figures, but they're very rough images. So, again, I would just rather wait, you know, for the official reveals and then I will update you all on that. 
Now I did want to point out here this little tidbit that uh, the CEO of Funko is a fan of Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. He actually did suggest that people check it out on Netflix. Now of course that doesn't mean anything officially, but I think this is a sign that you know maybe we could see some um, Umbre Umbrella Academy pop figures in the future. I would be down with that. Um, actually, I think I would I'd really prefer their comic book versions. I think they look a lot more interesting, but regardless, you know, some Umbrella Academy of pop figures would be pretty cool. If you've seen the series, definitely let me know what you think about it. You know, give me your mini review down in the comments. I watched it. I enjoyed it overall. I thought the end, um, the season ended maybe too suddenly, but overall I did enjoy it. So Amazon has canceled pre-orders of the I Hate Mondays Garfield. It had appeared on their site for pre-order. I actually think I put a pre-order in for that. But um, it had also been revealed though as a Funko, potentially a Funko Shop exclusive. And I think that is how it's going to release. So like I said, Amazon canceled those pre-orders and more than likely it's going to end up being a Funko Shop exclusive. Again, when I learn more about that, of course, I will share that with you all. And then the Giants, um, they are going to have a Bruce Lee tribute night. And along with that, they are going to have these exclusive Bruce Lee pops that you see pictured here. Moving right along uh, for the Aladdin movie, the live action Aladdin movie coming up. Of course, there are going to be pop figures. And you see the back of this box here, this Jasmine box that you see, of course, um, Aladdin. He's going to come along with Abu. Then they have Genie, of course. They have Aladdin dressed up, you know, as the prince, uh, Princess Jasmine and Jafar, of course. So these seem to be the common figures that are going to be available based off the movie. And then you also see that Hot Topic is going to have an exclusive Jasmine and her Desert Moon outfit. And moving right along here, focusing on Little Mermaid, of course, there was the um, the aerial figure that just released with box launch you know they had that exclusive figure that is still available they also have some lounge fly products that are exclusive based off the little mermaid including backpacks and um you know uh, just pouches and things like that so be on the lookout for that if you are interested in those types of items and you also see here this kiss the girl movie moment which is coming up as a target exclusive which is amazingly well designed i really love the fish you know spitting the water up into the air that really makes it look very cool so um if you're a big little mermaid fan i think this is something to definitely add to your collection i know movie moments can take up a lot of space but you know, i think this is one that will be worth making some space for and now we're going to focus on Star Wars Celebration, which is coming up here very soon. It's going to take place in Chicago from April 11th to the 15th. And the, Fun the Funko exclusives should become available as of April 11th. And starting off here, focusing on the Pop Pez that will be available. These should be shared with GameStop. And they include Jabba the Hutt, Salacious Crumb, and a Gamorrean Guard. So again, these uh, Pop Heads exclusives will likely be shared with GameStop. And then, of course, they have all of these chromes going on. So, you know, last year it was Avengers, and now we got all this Star Wars chrome going on right now. Uh, you see here the, bl the blue chrome pops to the left. Those are actually going to be convention only. So you actually have to be at the event to get the blue chrome pops there of the Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, Princess Leia, and Yoda. Again, the blue chrome ones are convention only. Now, the gold chrome ones that you see here to the right, these are going to be the shared ones. Oh, and I do want to point out that the blue ones will be limited to 2,500 pieces each. And some of them may potentially show up on the Funko Shop. That's not guaranteed, but it could happen. I would definitely keep my eyes on, you know, if you're a big Star Wars fan, keep your eyes on the Funko Shop around the time of this convention that some of them could show up there. And I think they would sell out in a heartbeat. Um, but again, getting back to the gold chrome ones, like I said, these are going to be shared with retailers. And you see the retailers listed here. And let me run through these quickly. So there's the gold chrome Stormtrooper that will be shared with Target. The Gold Chrome Boba Fett will be shared with Box Lunch. The Gold Chrome Darth Vader will be with Amazon. The Gold Chrome Chewbacca with FYE. Gold Chrome Princess Leia with Hot Topic. And then the Gold Chrome Yoda with GameStop. And again, these should be available as of April 11th. If anything changes with that, if I hear anything different, then I will let you all know. 
And two more big exclusives here relating to Star Wars Celebration include Darth Maul with Hood, which has been rumored now for weeks um, that there was a Darth Maul with Hood on the way. And this seems like it could be shared with Walgreens, which of course would mean that it should appear on their website. You know, that's how they usually do um, their exclusives for cons. If I, again, you know, if I learn more about that release, I definitely will update you all. And then Watto as well. And I actually think Watto is probably the most interesting pop out of all of these um, and Wado is actually a you know potentially a hot topic exclusive that seems very likely because they usually do you know get an exclusive for an event like this so again uh, Wado the hot topic exclusive again these should release um, as of April 11th right now I just have them listed as coming soon because you know we'll see what happens with the specific date if anything moves around I will try to keep you updated like I said moving along here and um, I think I think mainly due to the popularity of the PS4 Spider-Man game, it seems like we're getting a lot more Spider-Man related pops recently. And it seems like there are some more here on the way, including some Walgreens exclusives. Walgreens could potentially get the Future Foundation Spider-Man, which you see pictured there in the bottom left. He has that very slick black and white outfit going on. Also, Bagman Spider-Man, which I have pictured all the way there in the upper right, which um, you have to know the comic backstory and everything to know why in the world he's in a fantastic four outfit with the bag over his head i mean it's you could look up the storyline relating to that and then also craven craven the hunter is potentially a walgreens exclusive as well and i'm really looking forward to that pop figure i really do like that villain also we could potentially get octo spidey and with the rest of these i'm not sure if they would be with walgreens or not you know time will tell on this if they even get produced but um octo spidey sandman which i'm very hopeful will actually happen and i really hope they do some variants of sandman as well because there's just so many different designs that they could do with him and then also scarlet spider and yes i know they did scarlet spider previously but this would be the kane parker scarlet spider that you see pictured there in the bottom right so fingers crossed that these figures actually will get produced because all of these sound interesting to me personally so we are into spoiler alert territory here now. If you don't want to see spoilers for the Captain Marvel box, which I did actually share spoilers of that previously, but I do want to cover them again quickly just because I have some additional images here. But uh, for that Captain Marvel box uh, with the collector core, which of course is exclusive to Amazon, if you do not want to see the contents, you know, if you ordered the box and you just want to be surprised, then please make sure that you tune out of the video right now. Okay, for those of you still with me, again, here are the contents of that Captain Marvel box. It is coming along with two pop figures. One is Nick Fury with Goose the Cat. And then also they have a Captain Marvel that is glow in the dark. And um, again, it's, it's sort of a mix between the chase and the common, I guess you would say. You know, um, she is up on a stand in the flying pose and she has the fireballs i guess you would call them on our hands which i'm assuming those are the main thing that probably glow but uh yeah that captain marvel though i really do like the look of it overall then this also comes along with a t-shirt and a pint glass as well so again i just want to share some additional images of the contents of this box and um, like i said last time i think the value is really there for this particular box if you are a fan of that movie now another spoiler alert here i am going to show some exclusives for avengers endgame so again if you'd rather wait for funko's official reveal which by the way like i've been saying once funko does the official reveals for avengers endgame then i'm just going to share everything that funko shares but if you'd rather wait for the official reveal for the exclusives then again please make sure that you tune out of the video right now Okay, so here we go. I'm going to run back through some exclusives. Some of these I shared previously and some of these are new. I'm just going to run back through all of them. So Avengers Endgame figures will likely include a Barnes & Noble exclusive Hulk and Thanos 2-pack, which you see pictured there in the upper left. And that would just be the two common figures together in one box. Also, a Target exclusive 10-inch Thanos, and this would be the common Thanos again, just as a 10-inch figure. A Hot Topic exclusive Captain America, which you see pictured there in the bottom left. A Box Lunch exclusive Iron Man. A Walgreens exclusive Hawkeye, which you see the artwork for that here. A Tony Stark Pop and T-Set, you know, I covered that previously. That one could, um, some people are saying Target. I've seen some people say GameStop. Um, we'll see what happens with that. 
um, also an exclusive war machine pocket pop which could be with either box lunch or hot topic you know either one of those retailers we'll see what happens with that and um, the, again the comments are pictured there in the bottom right so uh, like I said these are the exclusives that I know about for right now with Avengers Endgame I don't doubt that there will be more because this is going to be a huge event movie so you know as I learn more of course I will share with you all and I'm really looking forward to Funko's official reveal and sharing those you know crisp clear images with you all so that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. Um, you know, it's been a while since I did two videos this close together, but there has been more information kicking up recently. So again, I want to try to keep you all up to date. Um, if you appreciate the video, please take that moment to drop a like on it. That is very much appreciated. I look forward to reading your comments as always. And if you think it will help out other collectors, please share the video as well. But yeah, that's going to do it for this edition of Funko News. Thank you all for checking it out. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.